Yo, what's good, everybody? How are you guys doing today, man? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're going to be talking about Michael Porter Jr. This man dropped 25 points against the Pacers. I said this for the wildest. Now, if this man got some minutes, he would be looking really nice. And look what I'm seeing right now. Ever since he's been at getting more minutes, he's been getting 18 minutes. at 11 points against uh, the Grizzlies. And then we're going to go ahead 26 minutes against Sacramento. He had 19 points. He had 10 minutes against Houston and only had seven points bro 22 minutes against the pacers and he had 25 points he was two from three from three point range he was 11 from 12 from the field he was almost perfect bro it's looking nice i said this for the wildest now if he had some minutes if uh, the nuggets would give him minutes he would look nice and i'm gonna say he might low key if he keeps this up bro i think that he was like he's averaging i think they said 16 points a game uh during this stretch when he has more minutes so thinking about that off the off the rip is just amazing to see. Ever since that back injury, he was out for the season. I low key think he might win at like fucking rookie of the year with the with the candidates I'm looking at. I felt like out of all those people, Michael Porter Jr. has the most potential in my mind, side Zion. But like, look, he's out for the season. I don't even think he's gonna come back. He should not come back and wait until the next season on that. Uh, John Moran's looking like a promising young star in this fucking league. But, but Michael Porter Jr. in my mind is something different. Ever since high school, what I've seen him do, bro, it's just he's different. And I just when I see him play, I really think he has the potential to be one of the best players in the league. And if you give him time and, and progress, like the one thing I'm worried about is his uh, injury and stuff like that with his back and other things like that. So I'm hoping he's going to be good and all right with that. And everything will go straight forward from there and all things great. And I really want to see him succeed. And as that being said, I want to see him work, win Rookie of the Year because I think he has a chance to do so. He might steal it. Even though it's half of the season and he's starting to start furious. He's starting to fucking blossom out there. And he's starting to he's starting to fucking rack up some points. But at the same time, it's not actually his fault. He's only getting like around 10 to 8 minutes per game uh, during each game. But like he gets 8. Like the first game against New York, uh, that was 10 minutes, almost 11, eight, point, uh, 8 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 6 minutes, 5 minutes. And the time that he starts to get minutes, bro, he had 11 points, 19 points, and 25 points. All above above 20, uh, 20 minutes a game, he is averaging like around 17 to 16 points a game. It's looking really nice. This man has a nice step back jumper. I've seen him. He is a nice jumper, bro. It's looking nice, man. He, he can shoot 100%. He's a scary, deadly three-point shooter as well as I've seen him shoot. Bro, he can shoot the lights out of things, bro. If you give him more minutes, you give him uh, the potential to grow, he will blossom out there. And what, what we've seen, like I said, man, he, if you give him more minutes, 20 minutes a game, like 20 minutes a game, he's going to furious and he's going to do well off the bench. Just give him 20, 22 minutes and be the sixth man player of the year. Some, well, imagine this man does so well. This half of this season and just somehow this wins six man of years or somehow just randomly, you know, and I know it's not probably not going to happen because you got to think about Lou Williams is easily probably going to win it again easily because the Clippers and things like that they have a winning record. They're looking really nice. So are the Nuggets. What are they standards real quick? Like, I'm just curious on the Nuggets. I think they're seven, uh, six, not the six. I think like the third or fourth in the Western Conference. Oh, they're second place. In the Western in the Western Conference, so that's looking really good, man, right now. But they're uh, they're 24 and 10. So if they lose one more, they'll be down to the third spot. And the LA Clippers and LA Lakers will both have the one and two spot in the Western Conference, which is really exciting to see. Dallas has kind of dropped down a little bit because of Luka not playing a lot. Uh, but um, hopefully they'll be back up and try to get that third spot or that fourth spot. We'll see what happens with Houston, man, as well, man. This is looking really nice. Like this right here off the bat looks like the playoff t playoff fucking list right here. The Lakers, Denver, Clippers, Houston, Dallas, Utah, Thunder, and uh, Spurs for the, for the last spot. I feel like it, the, going down to it, I feel like Portland has the chance to make it into the playoffs. And so does the Suns. 
but also I did I doubt that. But the one one team I feel like has the chance to make it through the playoffs and make it into the playoffs is Portland, 100%. But guys, I'm really excited to see what Portland, what Michael Porter Jr. does, man, because I was a big fan in high school and what was going on with him, man. I really want him to see him succeed, and it's gonna be great to see. Um, I'm wondering what their next game is because I want to see how he does. I'm gonna watch one of his games as well. I'm look at the schedule real fast for you guys. Uh, they're gonna be playing. Uh, uh, they'll play Washington uh, on Saturday, which is going to be a good game to watch. I'm also going to be making a video about Atlanta because they might be fucking the Hawks might be getting Andre Drumming. And it's looking pretty nice. If the the, if the Hawks get Andre Drummond, Drummond with Trey Young but being that facilitator, that playmaker, it's going to look nice on that team. And I'm really excited to see that. But Blake Griffin's going to be uh, all by himself and all by him is lonesome with Derrick Rose. And I feel like that's going to be really nice to see as well. He Blake Griffin might average more points without drumming on the floor. So we'll see what happens with that. But guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you guys are new. Like this video. Thank you guys so much for the support on my last video i'll be uploading every single day on this channel i also upload gaming videos on the other channel i'll be uploading something tomorrow as well and guys that's pretty much it i'll see you guys next time peace out